Good morning, Cory Cubs. Welcome back to school. We hope you had a wonderful weekend. This week is National School Lunch Week. Do you think we'll have any new foods on the menu? Well, you're right, Abby. Today is National School Lunch Week. And we'll be having new foods, but we'll get to those on their day. Today for lunch, we'll be having orange chicken with seasoned rice and egg rolls, or corn dogs with sugar snap peas, crinkle cut carrots, the new juice rush sugar cup, uh, mandarin oranges or fruit juice. And for tomorrow's breakfast, we'll be having the new breakfast bowl or cereal and cinnamon toast, seasonal fruit or fruit juice. Now back to the rest of the announcements. This morning, Rachel walked into school with a scarf and long sleeves. Is it really gonna be that cold today? Fall has begun. The reason I came in with a scarf and a long sleeve shirt is because the high is 47 and the low is 44. And it'll be rainy, so make sure to have your umbrellas. Now back to the rest of the announcements. My family went to the Cowboys game on Sunday, but I didn't go with them, and I was wondering if the Cowboys won. The Cowboys finally won a game, and the Astros beat the Red Sox. More on sports tomorrow. ...to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join us in the pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Now for the moment of Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It is so good to see you this morning. I want to talk to you about a couple of things today. First of all, and probably the most important thing is, I am loving this weather, and I hope you are loving this weather. And because I love the cold weather so much, it made me think about things that I really like. And I have had the pleasure of walking around and seeing what's happening in the school. And I want you to just stop what you're doing for a minute and I want you to think about how lucky you are to have the teachers that you have because they are pretty spectacular. They work long hours, they put time in away from their families and they do it so that you can have the best instruction possible. So I want you to take a minute right now and clap for your teacher, they deserve it. Clap for them. And teachers love a hug and they love a compliment. So think about that. When there's something that you really enjoy and you really appreciate, tell them because they're pretty amazing people. And I'm so very proud of everything that you're doing, teachers. Thank you for all the work that you put in. Thank you for the time. Thank you for the energy and thank you for your commitment to kids. Boys and girls, this is a big week. We are kicking off another focus on kindness you might remember that last year we did a kindness week and we're going to do that again in the spring but this week we're going to talk about being kind to each other and friday morning we have a big project and i'll tell you more about that soon but on friday morning we're going to be doing a kindness project so what can we do this week well i want you to focus on being kind and being kind is really simple i want you to look for opportunities to do something nice for someone else it can be as simple as picking up a piece of trash on the playground that someone else left. Maybe it's not yours, but you're going to be helpful. It can be, it can be looking for a friend who in the lunchroom doesn't sit by someone and talk to them and you go sit next to them. It can be um, helping someone pick up um, their folder if they dropped it. There's lots of ways to be kind, but not just inside of school. You can be kind outside of school. You know, if you think about in your neighborhood, there are ways to be kind too. 
Are there people that uh, live next door to you that you haven't been able to say hi to in a while? Sometimes just saying hello is enough. So think about things that you can do outside of school as well as in school. Our project on Friday is going to ask you to do a little bit of both. And so I want to encourage you to get started with that. So option number or item number two I want to talk to you about today. We've been in the cafeteria. Mr. Trevino has had some really cool opportunities for you to earn some prizes with Class Dojo and it's time for those prizes. So the classes that Mr. Trevino says earned their prize, they get to talk to him about having a party. Party might be technology party. I don't know what else he's got in mind, but he's going to come and talk to your class individually. Or if you want, you can have an extra recess outside. This is for all the work that you've done, so it can be an extra recess in the day. So congratulations to these classes who have earned a party for the, uh, for the first six weeks from the cafeteria. In kindergarten, Ms. Ramirez's class has earned their party. Good job. In first grade, Ms. Silva's class, Ms. Herrera's class, and Ms. Bianco's class. Congratulations to all three of you. In second grade, I'm sorry, nobody got there and kept it. And in third grade, we didn't have anybody get there and keep it yet either. So if your class didn't win yet, you need to work a little bit harder on sustaining it. We all have good days, but you gotta stay strong throughout the whole six weeks. Congratulations to fourth grade, Ms. Durnings and Ms. Davila's class. You both earned a party. In fifth grade, Ms. Anderson's, Ms. Kelly's, and Mr. Shaw's. All three of you got it. Great, great job, fifth grade. And in sixth grade, Ms. Johnson's class and Ms. Haven's class. So congratulations to all of you. Mr. Trevino will be talking to you about when you want to do your party and what you want to do. And if you didn't win a party this time, we're starting fresh. So the second six weeks, you can earn yours. Keep that good effort. Remember that when you're in the cafeteria, being kind and following directions is usually the secret. So thanks for listening today. Have a wonderful week. Be kind to each other. Thank your teacher. See you soon. October is Community Helpers Month. Highlight here around you with reflections. Students may create any of the following, may create an entry in any of the following categories. Dance, choreography, film production, literature, music composition, photography, and visual arts. Entries are due October 26th, and they will be turned into Miss Kerbal in the theater room. Round one of judging will be on October 29th, and finalists will be judged November 5th. Winners will be announced, and awards will be presented at the Veterans Day program on November 8th. Class, this is a competition for all grade levels. And the top winners from each grade will receive a gift card and a prize. Don't forget to guess for this picture. All guesses must be turned in by Thursday into Miss Phelps. You only have one chance to guess. Let's say the secret to success. Be in the right place at the right time with the right attitude. Have a marvelous Monday, Corey Cubs.